OK. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, um, I believe what they told us for this one is now we know we have um, parallel lines, correct? In this example, they gave us parallel lines. And what they asked us to do was now to go ahead and determine, uh, Blake, what our um, angle relationship was. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing these problems. And you'll see a lot why it's more so important today. But when you're applying these problems, it's going to become very important, Camillo, with, for you to make sure you write down the angle relationship that you are working with. So right now, we have these three angles. All right? And we also have two different variables. All right, you can see we have x's and we have a y. So what we want to do is we want to be able to determine what is the relationship between the angles with just the variable x. And when I look at Taylor and she goes and thinks about that, what relationship would you say these two angles have? Alternate interior angles. And since we have parallel lines, alternate interior angles are, how do they relate to each other? They are congruent. That's right. They have the exact same measure. Um, I'll just do alt interior angles. So we have alternate interior angles, so therefore it's 8x minus 10 equals 7x. Right? So now can we find the value of x, Sam? Right? We, now we have an equation. So of course we can. So we can just get the x on the same side. So if we have x minus 10 equals 0, and then add the 10 to the other side. So x equals 10. Right? Cool. Now we found that x equals 10. But we're not done yet. Because now, all right, if we know that x equals 10, then this angle would be 7x, which would be 7 times 10. Therefore, we could say that that angle is, worth, is equal to 70 degrees. Right? So rather than just writing 7x, let's write in this angle as 70. And the reason why I do that is because now I see, all right, I need to still figure out this value of y. And if I'm going to figure out the value of my variable y, I need to know what that value of x is. So then I go and look at Mario and say, Mario, these two angles, how are these two angles related to each other? They're on the same line. Well, they create a, they create a line too, right? So what was that angle? How do, what definition or um, what vocabulary did we have when we had two angles that created a line made up there right next to each other? Do you remember? Kaylee? You remember? No? Uh, well, they don't have to do with anything on parallel lines. They make up this parallel line. Asia, do you remember? How are these two angles related to each other? OK, so you guys are right on the linear pair. But you guys remember, how do linear pair? What is, they are a linear pair. That's exactly right. They are, um, they make up a line. They share a um, vertex and a side, so they are adjacent. So they are a linear pair. But what are a linear pair? Yeah. The sum of them is equal to 180. So we call them what? Supplementary angles. Yes, they are a linear pair. But the more importantly is you need to understand they're supplementary. So therefore, I'll write down these are supplementary angles. Therefore, I know that the sum of 6y plus 20 plus 70 equals 110 or 180 degrees. Does that make sense? OK? No? Where did I lose you? You don't understand how these are added to 180? These two angles, the sum of these two angles add up to 180. So they're supplementary, so we add them up to equal to 180. These two ang alternate interior angles are equal to each other. Notice how I'm giving you guys the definition before I'm doing any of my work, which is very, very important. So therefore, now I can combine this up. So I have 6y um, plus 90 equals 180. Now, can I solve for y? Yeah, of course, Zach, right? So I subtract 90 on both sides. And I have 6y equals 90. Then I divide by 6. All right. So by applying alternate interior angles, I was able to determine that x is going to equal to 10. And then by uh, um, determining for uh, solving for y by using supplementary angles, I can determine y is going to equal 15. And there you go. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, if uh, you